Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Darkest Dungeon, the Darkest Roomba playthrough estate. So, we uh, we beat that dude, which was good. He was one of the bosses. Um, we've accomplished the mission. Where can I see the journal? Can I pull that up again? Yes, I can. Yeah, so we defeated the Apprentice Necromancer. We still need to defeat quite a few other dudes. There's still lots of gameplay available. And we need to get everyone to uh, raise a bounty hunter to resolve level 6. There's still lots of gameplay, even though we're in a alpha state. Um, our veteran here is abusive. Fredegar is going to need to go and pray or something. He is God-fearing. He will only pray for stress relief. Let's see if we can fix that. That is not the right building. This is, and unfortunately, this bastard is in there. Um, we're going to have to upgrade it. I just, I need to get Fredegar squared away. Let's do that. It's only 100, uh, 1,050 this time. Can we upgrade the, uh... Um... No. I mean, I don't know. We have to do that. Benjamin can go where? He's got fearing he will only pray, right? So he's going to have to wait a week. Pyro also has an affliction. He is obsessed with killing. Looks like he can go just about anywhere. Uh, let's just get him taken care of over here. Let's have him pray. Pyro. Alright, let's see what we have for new heroes. And also, I think we do want to upgrade both of these, if at all possible. We can only do one. I don't have enough deeds to upgrade both. Right now, if we do this, we could increase the size of the barracks by three, and that would take us to 13. We'd have room for all three of these guys. We're gonna need- we just need more, need more people. Like, as we saw in the last video, we're gonna lose people. It's gonna be bad. Um, I think what we should do is the Stagecoach Network, because we'll- More arrive, foolishly seeking fortune and glory. In this domain okay. of the damned. Okay. That. Yep. Okay. He he has to say something after any time you click anything, he has to say something. But anyway, um, that's okay. So what we should be doing is inspecting these heroes and like like only taking the ones that we we want. Um, you know, some of them might not spawn with uh, negative effects, that kind of thing. But um, we just we need to hire some people, so we'll hire any of them really. Let's put them at the very bottom. I don't like how I can't put them at the very bottom. It's kind of to those kind of strange. Keen eye, yeah, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. like a dagger's point. See what I mean? Oh, he has to say something after every time he clicks something? Yeah, anyway. Alright, so we've got another lady with a hat. Chick with a hat. Uh, this is going to be... Um, Brittany. Brittany with just one T. Is that how you spell Brittany? I don't know. We've got another chick with a hat. Uh, this is not Boylan. This is... Uh, 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 it's, uh, mm, Athena. I don't know, warrior, it's a, yeah. Something warrior princess, I don't remember. I'm thinking of, like, Hercules is, um, Xena. Xena is what I was thinking of. Then we got Olaf. You know what, Olaf is actually an acceptable name. I like Olaf. That is a good name. Right, so, uh, what do we got? I think we just need to do an easy run. Because we've got a whole bunch of new people that we need to get leveled up. And I was reading some of the comments a while back and also doing some research. And what's going to happen is as we go on these embarkations, we're going to get missions that are like... If they're too high level, they will refuse to go on the mission. So it's going to become difficult to clear out some of the easier places if we don't have like everyone kind of built up evenly or or something. We're going we're gonna to run into issues. I've also been experimenting a little bit with a solo play where I tried doing some dark runs where you don't use a torch. And I don't know, I'm a bit torn on whether or not that's really beneficial. Um, let's see if we can do something with... Uh, I'm so sad that we lost Stan. I'm going to mourn his loss, his death. We'll take um, Joseph followed by Arthas, followed by Chick with a Hat, followed by... You know, Benjamin's already selfish. I don't want to take him. Susan's ready to go. I'll take Susan. So that gives us some... Um, our lowest level person is Chick with a Hat. Our little twos across the board. Medium size, gather three holy relics. Or we could go to the wield and get more, more of these things, which we really desperately need. Um, yeah, we'll do this one. This is an exploration one. I think that's fine. Four deeds for winning. Let's do that. Easy little run. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, we're going to take, say, Six torches. If it gets a little bit dark toward the end, I'll be okay with that. It's a short run, two shovels, 12 food, 12 food, 16 food, and we'll take one key. 
And we're good to go. Let's do this. Leroy! Doesn't seem like you need more than one shovel, usually. I knew all these paths once. Really? Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. Fascinating. So we need to scout 90% of the rooms. We have to go north. We can't bypass the north passage. What do we got? A little bit of stress. No big deal. Nothing must be left untouched. Okay, what are you going to do here? You are taking some holy water. Sweet. All right, so let's just make sure we're in the right position. You need to be in one or two. You need to be in one or two. You need to be in three or four. You need to be in the very back. Do you have lunge? You do. So we're actually going to put you here so that you can lunge and then... Actually, if you lunge, you're going to put him behind. That's not good. You know what? Lunge is not going to be the skill you get to use much. You're going to have to probably use flashing daggers or shadow fade or something. I don't know. Poison dart. Yeah, let's actually not do that. I think you're going to have to be there. You're not going to really be ideal with this party because um, we have two tanks. Oh, well, that is the uh, drawback to this team, I guess. Unfortunately, we got surprised. It's okay. We're going to hew. And kill them both. Fiend. Yeah. Executed with impunity. It's pretty good. That's uh, apparently how it's done. You just use one hero and you kill everything. Basically. Did I forget some items? Like, did I not change out some of the equipment? I might have. Doesn't matter. Victim to the spreading corruption. Doesn't matter because it's an easy run. With misintent. Let's uh, let's throw some holy water on there. Had no effect. Okay, well, we've learned something new. Nothing of value on the body. Pretty short little room. What's in here? Getting kind of dark. Some ectoplasm. Okay. Hew them. Nice work. And now this is where, if we lunge, we're going to put you in the very front. We don't want to do that. I think we just do, you know, poison dart. Hmm. They're very resistant to debuffs. But they're quite slow, and they have low dodge. I think direct attack is probably the best way to go. So we'll go for a kill. Actually, we have to target you. Okay. We'll go for a kill on him. Seems good. Uh, let's see. Here, a chance to hit. 85, 80. It's less damage. It's, it's a stun. It could kill him. Better chance to hit. Same chance to crit. Um, we'll, well, stun is Yeah, just kill him. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. All right, what do we got here? What's in there? Unlocked. Now, I've read that if you use a skeleton key, even if it says that it's unlocked, you might find a secret, like a secret thing. But we're going to save it just in case because I want to make sure that we have access to an actual locked one. Let's see, traps, 20%, 20%, 50%. Holy crap. Okay, so you're going to be the one to open this chest. You did just fine. You're good. You're good. It's okay. Let's go ahead and bump up the, uh, the torch value a little bit. In radiance, may we find victory. I'm not quite ready to go wandering around without any light. But we do need to do a dark run soon, just so I can kind of like show you how that goes. And honestly, this isn't really a difficult run, so maybe we can do it for the end of this one. In fact, let's just do it. We're not going to use any more torches. Although we have a little bit of stress on uh, Arthas here. So maybe that's a bad idea, but whatever, it's fine. He'll be he'll be fine. The the trade-off is that like you, you gain more money, more loot, but you're also gonna get more stress. So you have to spend more money to make them healthier, but at the same time you get I, I don't know, it, it's I I could see like using a whole bunch of weak guys and then just firing them and hiring new guys and like kinda like using them to farm money and items. It's it's tricky. A little complicated. Ambushed by foul invention. Oh, I have eat again already. What a bunch of whiners. Uh, yeah. Nothing left to offer. It's fine. Pretty uneventful dungeon so far. Okay. A little bit of scouting is always nice. Another uneventful corridor, looks like. Oh, shoot. I only brought one shovel. Oh, never mind. Had we not used a shovel yet? I thought we did. Did I find a shovel? Maybe I brought two. I don't remember. Alright, so we're down to shadowy. Increased stress. Monsters have better accuracy and damage. We also have increased loot and more player crits. My only complaint, I haven't noticed, like, it doesn't say, like, on here, like, darkness plus crit chance. But when you mouse over on targeting an enemy, um, it will tell you that you have higher crit chance. 
I just don't know exactly how much. It's rather unfortunate that we didn't find the trap. Ancient traps lie in wait. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. Well, we found Jade on there. Now we're down to dark. Okay, we're almost down to pitch black. This is going to be kind of terrifying soon. Get some combat here. Now you still can surprise the enemy even when it's dark. But you're also, you are more likely to be surprised. And, and if you can handle the shuffled character order, it's not a big deal, but... What do we get? Some gold onyx? Cool. We're down to dark. It's almost pitch black. Ready? Pitch black moving into combat. Black is pitch. Okay. Alright, so taking a look at it. Now, notice how it says crit mod 5. Like, we would expect for her... Using this skill, which does target two people. Crit chance 16%, right? Her base crit's only five. She's getting five from the actual item. So I'm guessing it looks like we're getting 6% bonus crit chance because of the darkness, which, hey, whatever, that's cool. We'll take it. Devastating so blow. it's interesting. If you crit, you lower stress, but you also gain more stress. So it's kind of like a, a, a trade off there, you know? Like, I don't know. If, if you're. It's tricky. Let's just say it's complicated. We'll try it. We do have the, uh, we have torches. We can go back to full light if we need to, but. Uh, this hero does not actually have my favorite cleave spell, so Holy Lance, maybe? Let's put him in the front, which isn't a big deal. Holy Lance does quite a bit. Let's take out a, a guy in the back. Actually, you know what? I really want to kill one of these guys in the front. Press disadvantage. Give them no quarter. I'd rather do that. We're gonna use you to do judgment, kill him. Now we get the range heroes in the front where they don't want to be. Which is good. Unfortunately, apparently from position two, he can still do blanket fire. Rush shot, I think, is what they have to use in the, when they're in the very front, which is not good for them. Do a little bit of healing. Looks like we're going to have to do... I don't want to lunge you to position two. Yep. Single target's okay. Pardon my reach, she says. And we're going to go ahead and kill him. Just smack him in the face. As so... Mount, so too will resistance. I don't know. I, I really don't know exactly how much better the loot is. But it's better. Quote, unquote. So we'll keep going. Unless we unless we encounter like some serious problems, we're just gonna keep it pitch dark. You can definitely see, like, okay, I think the citrine is extra. 500 gold, that's a lot. Like it, it does make a difference. And now we're gonna probably get shuffled. If we're surprised. Wow, we got, we got really lucky. The last two combats we did not get shuffled. But we also are much less likely to shuffle or like get a free round against them. So again, there's, there's trade-offs in both directions. Ooh, she's on death's door. And now the true test. Hold fast. It's okay. We still have a heal. We're fine. And you, uh, do we want to do a holy lance on the guy in the back? I think maybe. 5 to 11 damage, that's not very likely to kill. You know what, maybe it would be better just ending one guy's life. I really would prefer to have... We could just use that spell that hits two targets. That'd be way, way better. I do 11, pretty much guaranteed to kill that guy. Go for the for sure kill. Just seems smart. Okay. She's not quite on death's door yet. crit. One more heal in since she's so low. And you will finish the job, Mr. Arthas Man. Okay. Remind yourself yeah. 1,400. You can definitely see a big difference in the amount of money that we just gained there. Now, I think this is going to pop you down to Death's Door, that bleed effect. So what we could do is we could just wander backwards, I think, to trigger another zone. Now she's really low. 
Like, I want to get her off of Death's Door. Actually, apparently she's got fractional health. Alright, well, we completed the dungeon. Any reason to continue? We could try that one little room there. We might as well. Just see what's in this tree. Uh, yeah. Treasures. Treasures in the dark. Another 1,250 gold. It's pretty good. Okay, well, that was a dark run. Um, we could finish this by doing one more bit of combat, but why risk it? We're on low stress. I like it. Paths and roads bring soldiers and supplies. Let them arrive on Harried. So I, I think we're getting 3,000 plus the 5,900. So we're getting a lot of stuff. We got very, very few heirlooms in this run. Okay. If the light is above 75, bonus speed. If the light is above 75, reduce speed. And Lockjaw and the Hatred of the Unholy. Okay, well, it's a pretty decent run overall. We got quite a bit of money. But we, uh... I was lord of this place. Before the crows and rats made it their domain. Yes, we know you need to say something. You are attention. You're an attention seeker. Anyway, um, first round damage, not a big deal because Pyro's a healer. And Fredigar recovered. He's no longer abusive and he lost 69 stress. Somebody call Northern Lion. He is level 3. Notice how he's got a green thing around him? I think that means uh, he's going to be a little bit strict on which missions he's going to be willing to go on or something. Now Benjamin needed to pray as well. And this bastard's still taking up a prayer slot. Let's get Benjamin taken care of. We are at a full roster. Can we upgrade the size of the roster again? We can. Uh, we've got access to another highwayman. We could use him to replace Stan. Uh, what kind of scat stats do you have? You're calm and anemic, and you're irrepressible. We've got another... Ooh, a Seeker Hellion? We already have one, I think. Actually, no, we have no Seeker Hellions. Well, we need to get a Seeker Hellion. Oh, man. We have some really nasty stuff. In Dungeon Wield, plus damage. Range damage, plus 10%. Barbaric Yap. Hmm. Adrenaline Rush. Oh, that's a really good skill. I like that. I think we want to hire. Um, I want to have. I want to have a full roster. I want to have like one of everything. Let's hire the increase the size Word of the barracks. Traveling. Ambition is stirring in distant cities. We're gonna hire Vane. We use this. We're gonna rename him to Stan 2.0. 2.0. Here we go. He's been upgraded. Regardless of his skills, I don't care. And we're gonna hire Anne Scott. Ever. Barbaric rage and unrelenting savagery make for a powerful ally. Uh, I guess we're gonna call her Yaup because that is clearly uh, like the whole purpose of a seeker, like a Hellion, or something. Yaup. Right. So we've got fifteen hundred gold. We gotta take care of our winners. Predigar could go on another quest. Um, I'm tempted to upgrade his, like, get, you know, get rid of some stuff. We should, I feel like we should be using this, like, every turn. Get rid of severe fear of enclosed spaces. I just don't think that we want that on our hero. Um, who are we not taking in this run? Hmm. Next run's probably going to be Arthas again. We'll take Arthas. We'll, we'll take some of the newbies. We got a whole bunch of newbies. We got Olaf. We'll have Yelp be our tank. We'll take Stan 2.0. Let's go ahead and throw Pyro in the mix. Yelp, Stan. Is Athena better than Brittany? For any reason. They have slightly different skills. What's this one? Oxen Trickery. Okay, flashing daggers. I don't really like. I like the lunge, but she doesn't have the shadow fade. Shadow fade plus lunge is what you, is what you want. She's, you guys are worthless. Chick with a hat, on the other hand, she's got shadow fade and lunge. We could unlock it. We could pay for it. Ah, we've got it. We got to just take the losers again. <laughs> I hate to call them losers, but they basically are. Let's see if we can get rid of uh, some more stuff off some bad guy, some some things. We don't want them to be bad. And we'll start our next quest. The medium. Activate three corrupted altars. We haven't actually done the Warrens yet. It's an apprentice level mission. 
Okay, we need a one, at least one good guy. We'll take Arthas to help out in the front. I think he can be our, a good tank for us. We'll take, um... We'll take Chick with a hat again, because she's almost level 2. Stan. Take, uh... You know, Susan again. I, I know I keep using Susan, but... Alright, this should work out alright. You know what I could do, actually? Now that we have him selected... Can we still go to the... You know what, I think if I go back, it's gonna unselect them. I hate that. I should be able to deck them out... ...while they're selected, so like, I know who I'm paying for. Oh well. Alright, so I've already forgotten who we're gonna take. It's Arthas, I think it was. It was... Uh... Stan. It was... Chick with a hat. And... Susan. I like having extra. Okay, alright. I'm gonna take a break here, but uh, let's go and do a new run. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.